Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, and in this video we're going to break down a brand new helmet from Bell. New for 2011, it's called the Revolver. It comes in four solid colors and one graphic which actually looks just like the Bell Star. It's called the Rally, with really cool matte black with a white stripe. $199 for the solids, $209 for the graphics. So you might be asking yourself, okay, I have a Revolver in front of me, and this is obviously the Vortex. It starts at that, you know, 175, 180 range. What's the key difference? The big difference is that Bell has changed the game once again. Turn this guy to the side. This is the first sport-oriented modular helmet. If you notice the front profile, you can tell that with any module, it's going to be slightly more round, and the fit of this guy is a hair more round than the intermediate oval of the Vortex. But they are going to fit similarly, just slightly more round on the revolver. But if you notice, it's very aggressive looking. You have a full sport bike helmet that if you notice the vent configuration, both on the front and with the uh, Venturis here in the back, the exhaust, this is meant to be in the three-quarter or tuck riding position. There are a ton of modulars on the market. Most of them are built for touring style riders. This helmet is built for sport bike riders that want the flexibility to be able to pop the front. So as I showed you here, it's a locking mechanism. You have an aluminum hinge and then you have a single button on the front. Notice on the front of this guy, if I put the Vortex right next to it as well, you're going to be able to see it's slightly different. This has a longer chin bar that goes down and it's a slightly different profile. You still have a single or two position vent that's built in there. The nice part though is that with this aluminum strong locking mechanism, it's going to add a slight amount of weight but it's going to function really, really well. The beauty of how they've really designed this though, when you think about a helmet at this price, and one of the big things right now that we're seeing from Bell is that people are gravitating towards their, their uh, transitions lens technology. All of the Bell helmets out right now, except for the Arrow, so you have the Vortex, the Revolver, and the Star, as well as the RS1, all take the same shield. It's going to be the Bell shield that comes in different tints, and it comes in that photochromic option, which tints when the sunlight hits it. It's an awesome feature. I have it on my Star. I use it all the time. It takes the place of having to carry a backpack for an extra shield or having multiple shields. The shield change mechanism on this guy is going to be just as easy as it is on all the other Bell helmets. It's a single pop right here. It's a quick pull, and there's your shield. That simple. To go back on, you put it in the upright position, line it up, and snap it in. Very simple. Talk about venting a little bit. We talked about the chin vent. Chin, it, it vents to the mouth area. This is also a Nutrafog system. So with Nutrafog 2, it's going to be the coating on the inside of the stock shield that comes with it. You have two chimneys on the front, open and closed variety. Very basic. It's the same ventilation scheme as the Vortex. And then when we flip it around to the side, or the back rather, we have four passive Venturi vents. What does Venturi vent mean? It means when you have a sphere going through the air at high speed, you create a vacuum behind the sphere. If you've ever been riding in the tuck on your bike, you notice the, it, you almost wants to pull your head back this way. That's the vacuum, the area of low pressure behind your head. So ultimately what happens is any warm air in the helmet towards the back of your head, it's going to be sucking air through this. So you have air that enters through the front and then a vacuum behind. So air is going to be moving to this area of low pressure, always goes from high to low, and with it, it's going to take heat, it's going to take sweat, it's going to take perspiration, it's going to keep you more cool and keep you more comfortable. So we have two big chimneys at the top, and then we have two baby winglets that kind of go down behind your ear um, on this way as well. And notice we have a diffuser along the back here for aerodynamics. Again, this is a very, this is a sport helmet. It's not sport inspired. This is a modular that's meant to be worn in spirited um, street riding conditions. Now, being that it is modular, it's not Snell, it's not ECE, it's basic DOT. That's just, that's, that comes with the territory for most modular helmets. It's very, very difficult to make a, uh, a higher rated uh, uh, modular helmet. And if I open this guy up, let's, let's move to the guts here. I want to show you another key feature, and I'm going to start right here with this tab. This wheel is basically, this is going to be an internal sun visor feature. I'm going to pull this guy up and show you this. And the nice part about what Bell's done here is it, this is something that we've seen Scorpion do it, we've seen HJC do it. It's something that, you know, it's definitely been around for a few years, but what Bell's done is they've improved upon it. So you have this wheel mechanism, right? And at each side, both open or closed, there's a tension snap. Some guys will have a thumb flip up here that'll be on the side towards the uh, side of the shield. Other guys will have a slider down here. The, fl the thumb flips and the sliders have a tendency to move while you're riding. This is going to give you a good shot to whether you're open or whether you're closed, keeping it in the right position. So now that I showed you that, let's move into the guts. Everything's washable, removable, quick wicking, so it's going to pull sweat away from you. Let's pull cheek pads here and give you an idea. Got the Magna Fusion tensioner system here, so it's a double D ring, and then the magnet keeps it in place. And then you're going to notice, so basic cheek pads, cool mesh, and you notice this mesh 
This mesh is light mesh like that, so that it actually goes over. If you can come in here tightly, see if I can get you a good view of it. Be able to see there's a cutout. That cutout's for a speaker system. So if you use a Bluetooth communicator, if you like to wear headphones, if you want to build a speaker into this guy, there are plenty of those guys on the market right now, Cardo, Sina, Blue Ants, uh, Chatterbox, you'll have a speaker cutout, which will actually accommodate, you know, this cutout's deep enough to accommodate more room than the typical speakers are actually coming in at thickness-wise these days. So I'm do the other side. One, two, should be a third snap here. Three, slides out. There's my other cheek pad system. And then the guts of this guy from the back are two snaps. I'll show you the comfort liner. And then it comes across the front. And there you go. That is going to be your helmet liner. Notice it's areas of, with mesh and areas that are cut out for ventilation. And then it's going to be wicking. So I've said, I say this in a lot of our videos, but to be able to pull it apart that easily, Hit a rest stop, run it under some water, leave it in the sun for 10 minutes, and you've instantly taken out all the sweat on your helmet, and you're back to fresh style riding. And then if we go to the inside here, you can see the comfort, or the EPS, and you can see these big 10 millimeter vent holes, and you can also see where the exhausts go out of the helmet. So if you have any questions about the, the Bell Revolver, new helmet, it's, it's different than anything we have at RevZilla.com. Shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Like I said, four colors, including a mat, as well as the Rally, which has the cool racing stripe on it. As always, everything over 39 bucks is shipped for free. Get the wrong size, fire it back to us, and we'll send you a size exchange for free. We don't do any restocks if you decide you want to keep it. 100% back to your card, no problem with us. Whether it's a current model or if it's a closeout, that's a new policy from us for this year. And as always, anything over $100 earns TeamZilla cash to be applied to your next order. It's our way of keeping you, um, keeping you saving money in the long term by sh buying your gear from us. Thanks for watching RevZilla TV today. Again, this is the Bell Revolver Helmet, new for 2011. Available at RevZilla.com slash Bell-Helmets. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.